In order to share out a document that will become the property of your students so that they can fill out the information and then turn it back into you for evaluation, we're going to use something called Google Assignments. This is similar to the tool in Google Classroom where you can make a copy for each student, they fill out the information, and then submit it back to you. To get started, click on the unit in which you want that uh, document to be passed out. I'll go ahead and select my Review Materials folder within that unit. And then I'm going to select Add Existing. The document already exists in my Google Drive, and now I want to connect it to Brightspace. Your instinct is going to tell you that you want to add a Google Drive document, but we want to do something different than just simply add the document. We want to hand it out. So we're going to come down to the More menu and select Google Assignment from this list of third-party apps. It will always ask to confirm your identity, and then you'll do the usual thing where you assign points, a due date, and a title, and so on. Scroll down to attach a rubric. You can either create a rubric from scratch or reuse one that you've used before. I'll use the same one that I used for my character chart assignment. Then I'm going to attach a file, and this is the file that's going to be handed out to the student. It will automatically put that student's name on the document, and then when it's time for that student to submit, they simply click on the Submit button to turn it in. I'll find the document I want to attach, click on the document, and then click Add. You'll notice it tells me that each student will get a copy. That's automatic. I can also turn on the Check for Plagiarism button, which will make sure that they're not just copying and pasting from the Internet. When I'm done, I'll click on Create. You'll see this window tells you it's working. And then without my doing anything, it comes back to your Brightspace unit view. If I scroll to that part of the unit, there's that assignment. And no one has opened this yet. None of my students have opened this yet, but when they do, their names will appear in this box, and then I will have a record of how many have submitted the assignment, how many of those have been returned, and I can communicate with students who have um, not turned the assignment in yet. So that's how you use Google Assignments. It is a very similar practice to one you might have used before in Google Classroom, and I have found it to be uh, just as useful. Another quick note, when you are using Google Assignments in Brightspace, you still have the grading frame like you would normally see if you've been used to using Google Classroom. And if you create a rubric along with the assignment, you can use that as a clickable rubric and it will automatically score points for you.